Okay, let's learn about conditionals in IMBA. I've got a few variables here. Num, which represents the number of habits that need to be completed in a day. Done, which is the number that have been completed. And then message, which is a string that we're gonna populate. Now I'm logging to the console here. Are we done yet? And at the bottom, I'm logging the value of message. So we're gonna use conditionals to populate the value of message and answer the question, are we done yet? Done meaning, have we done all of our habits? And these comments here represent the different topics that we're gonna cover. Let's start with a really simple if statement. So we can say if num triple equals done, message equals yes. Okay, let me open up the console and we can see that it logs yes because done does equal num. And let's look at the syntax of this if statement. First of all, the condition here doesn't need to have parentheses around it. The next thing to notice is that the body of the if statement is indented in one level. There's no curly braces because IMBA is a white space sensitive language. That means that the tab characters, the indentation is meaningful to the language. It's how IMBA knows that this is the body and that it's nested under this if line. Okay, let's add an else. We'll say message equals no. And let me change done up here. Instead of four, let's make it three so that we get the no value. And let's add a else if. We'll say else if done is greater than zero, message equals almost. Okay, so now we're getting almost. Imba has a shorthand for else if. You can write E-L-I-F, elif. You can use it either way, but we'll tend to use the elif form. Okay, so there's a really simple if, else if, else chain. I'm gonna comment that out and we'll go to the next topic here, which is trailing conditionals. I really love this. Let's make an example where we say message equals yes, if done triple equals num. Okay, and let's set done to be four again so that it is equal to num. And you see that we get yes in the console. And what we've got here is a condition that trails after the line. That's why we call it a trailing conditional. So this lets us have a single line for this condition, but also it makes the code very readable. It reads like English. Message equals yes, if done equals num. So the condition is here, and if it's true, this line will be executed, otherwise it'll be skipped. Okay, Imba also has a unless keyword. So instead of if, we could write unless. So we could say unless done triple equals num, message equals no. And that's not being executed now because these are equal, but let's make done equal to three again. And we see that we get no. And that's because unless is like the opposite of if. It negates the condition here. So this is like writing if done does not equal num, but you can write it with the unless keyword to make it a little more readable if you like that. And a really cool thing here is that we can take this unless statement, let me comment it out, and then I'll paste up here under our trailing conditional example. You can use unless also as a trailing conditional. So something like this, it's the same as the multi-line version, but again, it's one nice compact line and it's so readable. Message equals no, unless done equals num. Okay, here I wanted to make a quick note about and and or. We could say message equals not yet, unless done triple equals num, or done equals zero. So check it out, you can use the word or. In JavaScript, you'd have to write the double pipe symbol, which also works in Imba, you can use that, and that means or, or you can use the actual English word or. The same thing works for and, if you were gonna use the double ampersand operator, you could instead use the word and. I'm gonna switch that back to or, and I'll comment this out, and let's look at a single line conditional. You may be familiar with the ternary operator in JavaScript, which looks something like this. We'll say done equals num, question mark, yes, colon, no. So the ternary operator is the operator that nobody knows how to say and nobody knows how to use. No, but we know how to use it, right? This is the condition, question mark, then what happens if it's true, colon, and then whatever happens if it's false. But the syntax is a bit weird, right? It's a little confusing. A lot of people find it strange. Imba, of course, has a nicer way to write that. The regular ternary logic that I just showed you works, but you can also write it like this. Message equals if done equals num, then yes, else 
no. So once again, it reads much more like English, a little more clear. You can use this form if you like it. Okay, it's time for you to try this. I'm gonna give you a little challenge. I'm gonna comment out this message line and this line at the top, and we don't need this one either. And move all this stuff down. And I'm gonna add a new variable here called isWeekend equal to no. Okay, I've pasted in your challenge prompt. And here's what I want you to do for the challenge. You're gonna create a conditional a set of if and else statements that satisfies this description here. If it's the weekend, and notice we have the is weekend variable representing whether or not it's currently the weekend. If it is the weekend, log to the console, take the day off. Unless some habits have already been completed, then you're not gonna log anything. On a weekday, if all the habits are done, log, you did it. If no habits are done, log, get going. And if some habits are done, log, keep it up. Okay, so all these logs, you can use console.log directly to log those rather than that message variable we had before. Go ahead and write your code here, and then I'll come and show you how to do it. All right, here's how we can do that. We'll say if is weekend console.log take the day off unless I'll use that trailing conditional. Some habits have already been completed, which means done is greater than zero. Okay, else, meaning if it's a weekday, if done triple equals num, console.log, you did it. Else, if, we'll use the l if form, no habits are done, so done triple equals zero, console.log, get going, else, console.log, keep it up. Okay, so we're getting keep it up, which means it's not the weekend, and we've done some habits. If we did no habits, we'd get get going. If we had all the habits done, we have you did it. And if it's the weekend, we get nothing because it doesn't print out anything if you've done some of the habits. But if you've done zero habits and it's the weekend, it says take the day off. Cool, so that all works. And we're using the trailing conditional here with the unless keyword. And also notice that inside of this else, we have yet another if else chain, and we indent one level for that, and then we're indenting two levels for this stuff. So remember to indicate that something is nested within something else, you indent one level.